If you haven't got problems, I feel bad for your son. I got 99 problems and a bitch ain't one. And we are Marvel Strike Force. 99 characters, but a stitcher ain't one with Damien and Ian. I'm Damien Harmony. And I'm again still wearing the same jumper. It's a good thing we do this on laundry day every single yeah, time. Isn't so. <laughs> so welcome everybody to episode three tales of suspense uh today we're gonna be talking about the different kinds of gear and what each type of gear does uh so we should probably break down the gear by type and by trait and that is where i turn it over to you good sir because i spent too much time just clicking the top thing that said claim instead of realizing i could scroll down and find all the gears that i wanted so right. well, yeah. um, yes, gear can be um, quite the bottleneck in this game. Um, basically, what the gear does is I'll try and get a smaller character that I'm trying. In fact, all my small characters at the top that I'm trying to mm -hmm. gear up. Um, Cable, for example. Mm -hmm. Um, all of the gear that he's got will take him. It gives him extra. Well, this particular one gives him extra damage and extra focus that I'm looking at just now. Other one gives them extra health and armor, um, other one health and resistance, things like that. It gives them extra stats, extra mm -hmm. um, extra powers in the game, if you like. Um, the higher the sort of the gear tier, the, obviously the better they are, the higher that mm -hmm. their ultimate power goes up. Um, this is obviously coupled with the level that you've got them at and also sure, sure. the stars and red stars that you've got on them as well as the abilities. So there's quite a few things, actually. But That's a lot of, yeah, a lot of moving parts in there. So oh, given yeah. that today is about gear, why is gear so important to these characters? Um, it, it, essentially, it, that's the sort of, that's some of the things that give them um, extra abilities, extra powers that's going to um, set you apart from whoever it is that you're facing in the, um, in the arena, in raids, and whatever sort of game mode that you're playing. Um, mm -hmm. the, they're refreshed, the stores are refreshed every, um, or three times a day. Oh, um, nice. That's sort of where you're getting a lot of your gear and a lot of kind of character shards as well. Top tip, do not buy any characters, five pieces for 450 cores, unless it's a last minute offer for Jubilee or something like that. Don't do it. <laughs> it's a complete waste of cores. And we'll mm -hmm. definitely begin into um, how best to use your cores um, in a future oh, yeah. episode. Um, but yeah, the gear, there are quite um, quite a few bottlenecks, certainly throughout mm -hmm. the last couple of years. They've sort of they've changed the bottlenecks of the gears. At the moment, I've got a little bit of a bottleneck. Um, it doesn't look like it, but 972 ABCs, as they're called. Um, they are ABCs? ABCs, Advanced Basic Catalysts. Gotcha. Um, they're okay. the sort of, they're the parts that pretty much every cat well every character does need it's every character needs those to progress through the gear levels um mm -hmm. there are other ones that um, that are more sort of specific to them um, I can't find any in the store there's one there the advanced resistance catalyst part um mm -hmm. that's for your likes of your well it's looking like mutants and mystic that, um, that sort sure. of need that most, certainly on my roster. The likes of Thanos, Deadpool, uh, Cyclops, X-23, uh, Magneto, so on, so forth. Um, those are the sort of the kind of the bottleneck um, parts of gear. Um, then you get your more specific parts. Um, for, the, for this example, I'm using Advanced Cytoplasm, which I only have 65 of. Um, mm -hmm. Now... For the characters I'm looking to upgrade, um, you're looking at probably around about 70, 80. It depends on the character, but I think it's around about 70 or 80 you need to get them to gear tier 13 or 12 in some cases. Um, mm -hmm. And there are a whole load of characters I'm looking to upgrade, including the likes of Colossus, Phoenix, Deadpool, Cyclops, X-23, Magneto, Cable, Strife, Blob, and the list goes on. Um, now, if they're mm. needing around about 65, 70, 80 um, per character, 
then mm -hmm. that is where um, you need to start farming the gear um, in as much as you can in the stores for the currencies and um, because all of the different stores offer different um different types of gear as i say three times a day just sure. sort of check on your your sort of stock on your inventory of how much that you've got and who it is that you're looking to upgrade because you should really only be sort of concentrating on one probably one team at a time or a few mm -hmm. characters at a time just take stock of it how much that you need and there's no harm in hoarding or buying gear for the next level as you come across it of course that depends okay. on the resources you've got if you can only afford sure. if you only get a couple of thousand raid store credits then don't go buying all the sort of things that you see um i've got mm -hmm. i've got forty three thousand raid store credits and there's no particular characters i want to upgrade so i'll just spend it on gear that i might need sure um again i've got about how much money i've got 8.6 million um if mm -hmm. i see any sort of unique pieces that i might not particularly need today but i think might become scarce or due to the algorithms um, in mm -hmm. the future then i'll just snap them up today and and see what happens in the future so gear the gear okay. tiers are um certainly important in my uh, marvel strike force but they are i wouldn't say they are the most important um ability to upgrade okay but they are one of the more noticeable uh climbing ones like i've, I've noticed yeah. quite a level jump when mm -hmm. i equip a character uh you know i hit equip i hit that equip all button um yeah. and it you know it cost me hundred thousand to equip them all but then suddenly cap is is protecting a lot better uh, yeah. because now he's at you know gear 12 um you know which i think that might be my i might have him at 13 come to think of it but that's that is my highest gear tier character at this time uh, how high up does it go, by the way? It goes up to 15. Uh, it just okay. recently went up to 15. That's for the introduction okay. of Dark Dimension 4. Um, okay. Certainly a top tip would be um, if it's not someone that you're going to look to push all the way, go to 12 uh -huh. and stop. Stop there. Okay. Stop I might 12. just stop everybody at 12 until I can decide where I want to go then. Because so. the resources that you'll need, especially if you're sort of early game or early mid game, mm -hmm. the resources that you'll need to take someone from 12 to 13 could be mm -hmm. better spent in bringing a couple of people up to 12. Gotcha. But if you do have the resources to take them to 14, which mm -hmm. would include the likes of all your, um, your gold sort of gear, if you like, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the more unique pieces, um, then take mm -hmm. them to 14 because the jump between 12 and 13 isn't that much. Um, I don't know if you're looking, I think the numbers are something like 5 to 7% of a jump, mm -hmm. whereas mm -hmm. from 13 to 14, you're looking at, I think it's something like 15 or 20%. It oh, that's quite, significant. It is significant. So 12 to 13 Unless you're going to take them to 14, don't take mm -hmm. them to 13. Concentrate okay. on getting everyone, basically, tier 12, 6664, mm -hmm. and then you can plan from there. Okay. So uh, you mentioned farming, and I want to kind of dig into that, if you will. Okay. Um, and uh, so if I want to level my characters up uh, through the gear, uh, mm -hmm. it, and as far as that, you said you need to farm them. Is there yeah. a a more effective way of farming uh like you said focus on one or two characters at a mm -hmm. time or focus on one team at a time yeah. get them essentially up to 12 and decide mm -hmm. if you want to go forward or not mm -hmm. and then set them aside and then pull another team up to 12 but how do i farm the most universal pieces like where where's where am i going to find the, the the good stuff that will work for multiple teams so that when i finish farming this one i'm already halfway up with the next one Right. Well, there's a couple of ways. I mean, it would be ideal if they had a sort of a real stock inventory in the game, mm -hmm. but they don't. Um, the only way that you can really sort of um, see who needs what is to click on the PCs. Now, um, it's only a relative recent thing that they've introduced to the game that um, when the PCs come up in the store, it tells you how mm -hmm. many you own. Previously, it would not yes. tell you how many that you owned. 
So you'd have to oh. either keep a manual log of it. And let's face it, who wants to do that on a mobile game? Um, so, for example, I've got here the Advanced Unstable Molecules. I've got 133 mm -hmm. of them. Um, there's not anyone that I'm really particularly looking to take up. There's Pyro, there's Mysterio, mm -hmm. um, Merc Lieutenant, probably. Minerva, possibly. Um, so I know how much that I've got, um, so I don't <laughs> have to um, to worry about having a lack of them should I need to um, go sure. up. So that's how, that's how you know, you sort of, you go into the piece, possibly in the mm -hmm. store, um, mm -hmm. and it will tell you who needs it and how much you've got. Um, oh, nice. Now, if it's a character-specific one, if you're thinking, right, I want to take Iron Fist, um, sure. up to the next level. In fact, that's a bad example because I probably could. Who is bereft of a certain piece of gear? There's Domino. If I'm mm -hmm. looking to take Domino up to the next level, because at the moment, as you could maybe see, um, barring the, her level, I could possibly take her up to gear tier 14. But there is uh -huh. a missing piece right here, and we can find that the missing piece is are those Judas bullets. I think they're called that. But mm -hmm. it, it allows you in the character to find where you can get those Judas bullets. Yeah, superior oh, nice. Judas bullets. Oh, I amaze myself sometimes. Um, and it shows <laughs> you all the different places that are available in the war orbs, the orange elite orbs. And of course, get your wallet out and get wrecked for 13, well, 13 pounds 49. I'm assuming that's about 15, 16 dollars um, for 10 yeah. pieces of them, which is an absolute ripoff. But that's the way that you can sort of see. In the store, you can sort of see, or you can see, not sort of see, you can clearly see um, mm -hmm. the pieces that you've got, who requires them, how many you have. But if it's a specific character that you're looking to mm -hmm. upgrade, you go into that particular um, sort of plus or the find mm -hmm. part in the gear and you're able to locate where you can get those pieces of gear. Excellent. Okay. Well, that, that helps. Um, it enables me to just kind of hone my focus a little bit more <clears throat> and knowing that I, I'm doing it right by going per team and then shifting it off to the side and then bringing up the next team. Uh, mm -hmm. That's not a bad way, especially since I'm still at that level where I have not been able to unlock the final level of the campaign for heroes or villains. Right. Uh, and I uh, I think I've I've gone all the way through yeah, I've done the same thing through uh, most of the others except for Nexus. Right. Um, my Cosmic Conflict, I've, I've completely finished. Uh, my Mystic Forces, I only have Thor God to hit. Um, and then once I, you know, and I've completely done the Isotope 8. So I'm kind of waiting on my heroes and villains so that I can then open up the Nexus so that I can then open up uh, the Doom War. So that's yeah. that's where I'm headed. No, that's so. that's the thing about the um, because I take it you've completed up to six in Heroes campaign where you can farm Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. um, yes, if we, if we can have a look at some of the enemies, they are around about ten thousand um, mm -hmm. uh, health points um, per enemy. When you go yeah. to the again relatively recently released mm -hmm. um, chapter seven of that. Oh, good lord. Um, you are looking at, even on the first one, Yeah. you are looking at 54,000. So it's about, that's... and that's Nobu as well. Um, yeah. So you're looking at five, five and a half times the power from a jump from six to seven. Um, and that's just exponentially um, higher than the sort of progression from one to six. Now, yeah, by the time and it's get... saying that, it's saying that I only need city characters for that. And my city characters, that is a squad I have not built up. So it looks like I need to get moving on that to be right. able to stand against 50,000 health per per enemy. That's the thing. Um, until the symbiotes came out, no one had mm -hmm. city characters. <laughs> and it's hero city characters as well. Um, right. So um, I well, know at least that, I've got that. that Defenders is a bit of a... It's very early game. I don't even know if they're relevant early game anymore. Certainly by the time you get to mid game, they're useless, absolutely useless. Um, but apart from 
well, who have we got here? Anti-Venom and Symbiote Spider-Man. I'd take out some of the Defenders. Who would I put in? Put in Ghost Rider. Mm -hmm. Possibly Miss Marvel. Jessica Jones is quite good as well, to be honest. She sort of holds okay. her own. Um, her debuffs are quite useful. Um, but yes, city heroes can be a pain. Um, mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's the jump from six to seven, and it's exactly the same in the villains campaign as well. The jump from six to seven. At six, you're looking at uh, 16,000 health. When you start mm -hmm. off at seven, you're looking at 50, 53,000 um, health. Um, yeah. So it is quite the jump. It is sort of geared to more towards your kind of mid-game player. Um, but <laughs> the rewards, I mean, that's where you get Hela. That's where you can farm Hela from. Right, um, right. So um, certainly the best teams to sort mm -hmm. of to concentrate on um, if mm -hmm. we're going for um, the heroes, well, for Heroes Chapter 7, I'd probably mm -hmm. recommend Avengers. Mm -hmm. They are I'd probably say they'd get you through the start of that. Well, they wouldn't get you through the start of that because they're not a city. But, um, right. But yeah, that's the team that I've used uh, is my Avenger squad. And that got me all the way three stars all the way through up through six. Yeah. So um, I'm just in a holding pattern. My villains, I had to cobble together a lot more because I have this weird thing in me where I don't like to support bad guys. Uh, just not a thing I'm a fan of. It's silly because it's a game. Mm -hmm. uh, but it absolutely interferes with it. So I've gotten all the way up through six, nine, three stars all the way with a very cobbled squad of villains. Right. Yeah. Um, the best sort of one to go into, because um, the villains, the villains chapter seven, um, you're starting off with, you can either do AIM, Sinister Six, or Hydra. Mm -hmm. I know you're not building up Hydra, are you? Uh, you know, I actually have started building up Hydra despite their Nazi affiliation because at least these guys are green. So. <laughs> and also my Hydra squad does not have Red Skull or Baron Zemo on it. So I, I feel okay about that. Well, that's so. the problem you're going to run into because if you've not got Baron ah. Zemo or Red Skull, then they are mints, basically. Ah. Um, that's, that's a bummer. The best one for that is aim, to be honest. Um, if, if, oh. you're, if you're opposed to Red Skull, then certainly mm -hmm. aim. Um, Sinister okay. Six, if you're lucky enough to get Doc Ock, then mm. stick him in. But to be honest, if you're not able to clear 7-1, then you're not getting mm -hmm. Doc Ock. Um, but Sin Sinister Six are certainly a team that I would always recommend sort of newer players to build up. Because mm -hmm. they can unlock you two legendaries. They can unlock you Shuri by being part of the Spider-Verse and unlock mm -hmm. Invisible Wound by being part of the Sinister Six. So you're getting two oh. unlocks if you build up Sinister Six. Um, uh, you know, with, I might start tagging those. Okay. Yeah. Um, without um, Doc, Doc Ock takes them to another level, a complete other level. Um, and they've got Swarm and Electro in as well who are just... Um, who are, again, relatively recent additions to the Sinister Six. Um, but the best sort of team to get through that, I would say, is Aiden. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, is MODOK a playable character yet? He is not a playable character oh, yet. No, okay. I think that would be so oh. cool. But yeah. He is my son's in... favorite villain of all time. Like, he absolutely yeah. loves MODOK, just... Loves him, loves him, loves him. Has from the very beginning, like one of his first Marvel dolls that I've ever bought him was a Modoc doll. Right. Like I had to search far and wide for that large headed fool. But <laughs> yeah, it was. It's, okay, so build up aim, which I've done none of. Uh, mm -hmm. So my, my build up of Hydra is not, uh, not going to work unless I. So essentially, I can't do Operation Paperclip Hydra. I have to actually. <laughs> bring over Nazis as well. Dude, uh, uh, hate to platform those guys. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> all right. So as far as gear goes, it is a bottleneck. It seems like it's very much uh, designed to get people to pay money mm -hmm. uh, to, to get through that. Uh, if you do grind, I can tell you, just grind away and you can be working at Absolutely. other things. And that certainly pulls in the gear. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it will be slow going. You can't, you can't not wail your way through that and expect any kind of alacrity. Uh, so, and the All top right. tip as well is get yourself into a good alliance. Oh, because if you're in a good alliance, then mm -hmm. 
that actually sort of care about the alliance, then the amount of, and ones that raid as well quite a lot, the amount of mm-hmm. gear that you'll get from raiding and from alliance wins, basically the orbs that you get, um, mm-hmm. they're just, because you're looking at, what, 15,000, certainly at the level that mm-hmm. I'm at, I don't know if it's changed for the other levels, but um, yeah, the amount that you can, okay. the amount of currency basically that you get from a good alliance um, that sort of takes their alliance seriously will get you to mm-hmm. opening raid orbs, um, opening gear orbs, and that will, you'll get characters as well. But yeah, a good mm-hmm. alliance is pretty essential. Okay, excellent. Well, there you go. Uh, so uh, you gotta you got to basically work a team, bring it up, uh, work a few characters as you go. Uh, for plug and play get into a good alliance uh you will run into bottlenecks regardless so start uh if you have the resources for it start grabbing things in advance of needing them and just hoard them so that they just feed in almost automatically um those are all really good tips on on how to do that thank you and i appreciate that Uh, so hey where can people find you uh out in the universe uh in in the internet world in the internet world, well, um, if you have a look at iMcPun on all your mm-hmm. usual socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, Twitch as well, I think, that's going to be up and running soon, um, mm-hmm. search Ian McDonald Comedy on YouTube, you'll find lots of material, lots of puns, lots of funny stuff, um, so yeah, just Ian McDonald Comedy or at iMacPun on all the other usual socials. What about yourself, cool. Daniel? Uh, Daniel, you could find me <laughs> working Damien. with Daniel. Ah, uh, where did over... Daniel come from? It, it, oh, it was all that partner. talking about Nazis. There you go. <laughs> that doesn't make it better. <laughs> uh, but you can find me working with Daniel actually over on twitch.tv forward slash capital puns every Tuesday night. Uh, I, I run a pun tournament called Capital Punishment, uh, which Ian has been and continues to be a solid, solid guest on, uh, taking us to the limit as often as he can. Um, you can also find me um, on my podcast with my friend Ed, uh, whose name Ian will call me next episode, uh, on uh, A Geek History of Time. You can find that pretty much anywhere where you download podcasts. Uh, a Geek History of Time is, is just all kinds of fun. Um, and then you can also find me at Da Harmony on Twitter and Instagram because I'm, you know, somewhat dormant on those, but you'll find me advertising for other things on there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and if you want to learn uh, about the 23 uses of the ablative case, you could definitely find me <laughs> on YouTube. Um, and I know that there's 26. Don't at me about that. Uh, but in all fairness, the ab urbe condita uh, ablative is just an ablative of time witch. Let's really be honest about it. So, But uh, in our next episode, uh, we're going to be talking probably about the best teams to start early on. And I am sweaty for this particular episode because I want to know where I went wrong. Uh, and also where I could guide my son to go right. So uh, look forward to that. Uh, but until next time, uh, Excelsior. Thanks, Damien.